Hi, my name is Rob Stocklosa, Application Engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today, understanding replication errors. The first thing I want to discuss is simply the error message that's indicated to both the user and to the PDM uh, administrator of the company. To the end user, uh, a common error that can be shown to the user is that the latest version of the file is not available on the local archive server. All attempts to download the file from the remote server failed. Uh, and then you can see over here on the right hand side, if we follow up and look in the archive server log, as a PDM admin normally would, uh, that error message will be indicated with the appropriate date and timestamp, but it has some additional information in it. Before we go digging down into our archive server folders, uh, a few things we want to do to confirm that we understand the current state of where things uh, should be located. Uh, the first on the left hand side there is I'm just going to illustrate that typically I would locate a, a problematic file uh, and confirm that the replicated two options uh, jive with what we think. Um, if we have three or four servers, we should see those servers listed there. And if we don't, then we know that something happened. Either we did not set up the replication uh, or the replication failed. So we want to confirm first that it is indeed being replicated to the server that we believe it should be on. The next thing on the right hand side is I would take a look at the history of a problematic part. Uh, the history can tell us a lot, um, but in this case what I'm looking for is the latest version that the file thinks is available. So for this particular file you can see that it was checked in at a version 9 where the arrow is and that should be what's available, right? Is the version 9 should be available to our clients, to our users. So let's confirm that that is the case. Back over here in our archive servers, we're going to compare the source server and the target server folder structures. You can see on the left, I have the source server, and on the right is the target server. To confirm many of my findings, uh, I would recommend that you contact us uh, here at TPM to help you if you get into this level, but uh, we would typically run a SQL query uh, just to make sure that we understand what the SQL database uh, thinks is available as well. Remember, there's several components to PDM, SQL being one of them. To the far right, it will tell you what server it believes the information is replicated to. And this again is just kind of confirmation to our findings. So we're missing version 9. Well, what can we do to resolve such a thing? Uh, there's two options available for this particular file. Um, I could roll back to version 8, which we know exists, and that would, res uh, that would provide a resolution. However, I want to be aware of what's in version 9, right? I don't want to just roll back and do your best to locate that missing version. Hope you found this very helpful. Please contact us for all your PDM needs here at TPM. Thank you and have a great day.